All right, everybody, welcome back to Tin Heart. And we are just about to carry on an adventure here and move on to level nine. But before we do that, I just wanted to check real fast and see if I unlocked any more uh, things. We got first step unlocked, find your feet, and use the photo of Helen as a deflector in the prologue, which of course we managed to do. Awesome. Oh, what about these ones? Level seven, no stone unturned. Level eight, tell me your side. So wait, are these gonna be all the levels showing up or what? Hmm. Or maybe those are the achievements that are being added to the ball. Yeah. Definitely feels like it. Alright, in that case, let's just move on to level 9. This is a really pretty puzzle game. I'm really enjoying this one. Alright, so for this one, if I activate them, they're just gonna walk off. What I'm going to have to do here is grab some of these blocks. Uh, this one's going to have to bounce my little one, I guess, that way, right? I still have the ability to pause. Yep, I do. Okay, that is going to push them that way, and that book... Ooh, okay, so next up I need something over here. Uh, so what I'm going to do is grab this one. And this is actually going to have to make its way... Uh, like that, and like that. Okay, perfect. So that is one. But now they're gonna fall down though. Hmm. Which means what I gotta do here is grab this other block. And if I bounce them this way though. Oh, hold up, hold up. No, no. What did I do? <laughs> gotta go up top, up top, right here. They're just gonna bounce on the wall. Hmm. But I think what I'm going to have to do, as soon as they are going to be all out of this box, I'm just going to have to uh, use this one and make them climb up there. Yeah. We're just going to have to make use of these uh, three boxes, these three shapes that we have. That's what I got to do. Yeah, we got a time, uh, pause the time to see the path. Okay, that's fine. Let them do their thing. I definitely don't have any more blocks that we can use, right? So we just got to finish up the level with only these three blocks. Uh, speed up time. Can I speed up the time? I don't see no watches around here, no clocks. How do you... Dear Mr. Butterworth, if you would grant oh. me the honor to introduce myself, I am Lucian Mantelfell, Grand Master of the Guild of Toymakers. And as such, it is my great pleasure to extend to you this invitation to join our illustrious guild. We had the good fortune to happen upon your tin soldiers at the Stockholm Toy Fair and saw at once that you rightly belonged in our exclusive brotherhood. Further study of your work only confirmed our first impressions and led to this invitation, nay, plea, to come work with us in the crafting of artifacts to delight the young and confound the old. I shall waste not a moment more of your precious time, and set to waiting for a reply at your earliest convenience. Yours sincerely, Lucian Mantelfell. Hmm, that was awesome. We got a little bit of lore there. That was great. Alright, so I made use of three of these blocks to get my little ones coming right over here. But I'm going to have to make use of these ones next in order to have them making their way up top. Look at the king. That is awesome. I love that because we had him walking through the letter here. We got a little bit of lore. That was super great. Uh, I completely forgot how you speed up time though. Oh, that's how you do it. Never mind. You got to hold on E. Alright, and pause, because now I gotta make use of this one, as this one's gonna have to bounce them, um, I guess, this way. 
And then I'm gonna have to have um, bouncing off of this. Actually, I can use that one, never mind. Rotate it. Because they are next gonna have to make their way up top. So, let me just place this one over here. Alright, and lastly, this one is going to have to have them um, rotate and going inside the house. There we go. And now we can speed it up. Awesome. Uh, what is this saying? Press E with shift to fast forward faster. Ah, there we go. I forgot about this one. There we go. Level completed perfectly. We haven't lost a single one. That is awesome. I'm loving this puzzle game though. This is one of the best puzzle games ever. It's really enjoyable. Really, really fun to play. Alright, we just gotta move on to the next room because on this one, it looks like we are gonna have to bring every single one of them, 10 of them, to this door. And they're all gonna be coming out of this box. Oh, that's gonna be difficult. So, somehow I gotta get him to here. I think we gotta make use of this. Meaning I gotta get him on top of this one somehow. So I gotta use this trampoline. So maybe I gotta get him coming this way, through there, through here, and then falling on that. Yep. That's what it looks like. Okay. Do we have any shapes? I don't see any shapes that we can use. Uh, look around. I know, I know. So these are the shapes that I need. Uh, rotate. I'm gonna be guessing this one's gonna have to sit here. Let me just open this up. Okay, so they're gonna go there. Perfect. Uh, let me grab another one. So this one's gonna have to be pause. Place it over here, I guess. Yep, that's good. Okay, play. Uh, actually, hold up. Is that one gonna have them go straight up? Yes, it is. Alright, perfect. That's what I need. Uh, next, they're gonna bounce out of this one and they're gonna come over here. But here, I'm gonna have to bounce them here and then to that side. So let me grab the remaining two pieces. So they're gonna fall off here, and... Uh, let's see... There we go! Okay... And next up, we're gonna want them bounced... This way... Alright, I think this works. Shift and speed up. All right, let them walk it out. And as they do that, I'm gonna have to get this piece and move it up here. Uh, hopefully that's all right. And then we need this piece making its way to the other side because from here, they're just gonna walk off, bounce on this thing. Oh, I think they're gonna actually be bounced by that book. So, in that case, I'm going to use this one over here. Uh, what I can do, of course, pause the game a little bit so I can see if I placed everything all right. Yes, I did. There we go. And all I got to do now is just place one for that entrance and we should be all good. Uh, so, let me speed this up. That is super great, though. This is such a lovely game. Awesome! Yeah, this is a super lovely game. Right, uh, in that case, let me skip. Hold on E. There we go, because lastly, we just need this block uh, to be turned like that. And let me pause the game so I can see where I'm supposed to place this one. I'm guessing here. There we go. I love it that this works though. The way we're using 
the environment around us. Not just the blocks that we're placing, but also the environment around us to solve these puzzles. It's super great. Alright, come on everybody! We solved another puzzle here. I think this one is level 10, right? There we go, level complete. Alright, what do we got here next? So, the exit is going to be right here, which means we're going to have to walk on this saw. But I feel like we got to get this train to move. And all my little guys are also going to have to make their way over here as well to get an upgrade. Mm. Interesting. Where are they starting off, though? Uh, Hello? See the blocks over here that we gotta use. So this one is a moon block. Next up we have a T block. Uh, I'm just gonna have to go right here. There we go. Let me also let them go as well at it to see where they're gonna walk. Because next up we have a U block. Gonna go running here. And also a triangle block. Oh, this is a moon block, never mind. Let me pause it for a second. Uh, place the triangle right over here. Because we currently need the moon. Just like. Wait, that's not right. It's just gonna push him back. Hmm. Yep, it's supposed to be like this. Because now they're gonna bounce all the way up to that treasure. I wanna see what that treasure is gonna give me. And for that, we need letter U. Hold up, buddy. I need this one. Alright, so from there they're gonna bounce ah, back down. Okay, but that's not good. If I do bounce them back down. It's just gonna reset. But the thing is, I think we gotta do this so that we can get ourselves the upgrade out of that one. And then we can easily just spawn them back. Yeah. Okay, what is this gonna give us? This is definitely gonna be a brand new upgrade, right? It is the train upgrade. Awesome. Awesome indeed. And I think now we're probably going to have the uh, ability to move the train around. There we go. And we can now, of course, rewind the time as well. And we can start making use of the actual train itself. Now, what I'm going to do... Let me pause it for a second. Uh, let me look at the train. So you can't move it. I knew it. Hmm. Now, my question is... What if I grab that one? Where is everybody going to go? Oh, you know what? I think I actually need the train. Never mind. What I need to do is move the train. Right over there. Are they crossing now? Yep, that's going to allow them to cross. There we go. That's how I need it. Awesome. And now, if I speed through the time, this should work perfectly now. Uh, let me also go into this fella. <laughs> Just to follow them. I love that you can also follow them as you're also speeding up time. That is super great. And now they're going to bounce out of the train. And make their way through the saw. That's what I want to see. Man, such a special little game. There we go. Perfect. I wonder how difficult these levels are going to keep on getting, though, because so far, they've been pretty easy, I should say.
All right, uh, we got a couple of trades here. We got a couple of litters and the box. So the box is going to release some... Um... Uh-huh, this way. This means I'm probably gonna need the train. Now, if I have the train over here, it is going to bounce to the moon. So I need the moon symbol next. Uh, which is gonna be placed over here. Wait, it's not hitting. Seriously? Huh. That is super strange. Oh, there we go. Now it's hitting. For some reason, it wasn't hitting because I didn't set it right. Uh, next, we need the triangle over here. Like that. And then we need letter uh, T. Which is this bad boy. Just like that. Next up, we need letter U. Okay, and then I'm gonna need oof, a triangle again. Seriously. I think I'm also gonna have to move the train again so I can have the, the tin heart walking through here and making their way to this one. Yeah, that's what I'm gonna have to do. So let me just let them do their thing now. Once all of them are gonna be passed by the train, then I'm gonna have to move the train around. But how many do we need? We need 10. Mm hmm. In that case, this guy is going to have to make its way, I guess, like that, so that they can be able to walk straight into that one. Perfect. Oh, what is he doing there? He's making toys. Look at this guy. That is so cool. I love that as we keep on playing the game, we're getting a little bit of lore. <laughs> So we are inside a toy maker's house, I guess. And we're seeing how he invented these toys. <laughs> Alright, come on, Tin Heart. I need you all to come out. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and the last one is coming out right now. Because I'm gonna have to use the um training just a second here. And pause. So what I'm gonna do next is move the train. Wait, it's not working. I gotta move it a little bit more. Okay, perfect. Now, they're gonna make their way to the triangle. So that means I'm gonna need the triangle over there. Uh, but the triangle is currently being busy. So let's just speed through this up a little bit. <laughs> there you go, little guys. If you, all, if you all wanted to play another Lemmings game, a brand new Lemmings game, then this is definitely the one that you guys were looking for, for sure. Alright, let me depossess them. Let's see what this guy's doing. Oh, there we go. Still building it. Ooh, he's done! Ah. Oh, what? So these little robots are gonna create, like, balloons for my tin hearts. I get it. That is awesome. Alright, so as I was saying, I'm gonna need a triangle, which is gonna be that one because everybody got bounce of it this one's gonna rotate this way and place over here which means now they're gonna make their way to this side be bounced by that and hopefully there we go they're gonna make their way in perfect that's what I want to see and all I can do now is just speed up through time Ooh. He's building something again. I think this time he made it better, right? Let's see. Nope. <laughs> that went straight up in the sky. So he was really struggling trying to make um, the proper toy here with the balloons. I get it now. Hopefully the next level we're going to be able to unlock that. Eight. Come on. Nine and ten. That's what I want to see. Awesome. 
So this one is called the Blue Machine that he's creating here. We haven't unlocked it yet, but hopefully it's gonna be a thing in the next level. All right, uh, it is gonna be a thing in the next level. There we go. Hmm. So we're definitely gonna have to cross through here. So that we're gonna be able to use the balloon and maybe make it there with the balloon. I don't even know how this is gonna work. Yeah, hopefully. All right. In that case, they are gonna have to come out of this box. Pause. Oh, look at these chickens. <laughs> Following the big mama chicken. <laughs> this is lovely. All right, so of course we are gonna need the uh, train. There's two trains though, by the looks of it. So this train is gonna bounce them off. Oh, this one's gonna bounce them off back though. Actually, no, it's bouncing them off that way. Okay. Interesting. But if I bounce them off over there, they're just gonna keep on walking on that side. I think I gotta bounce them off so that they make it over on this uh thing of my jig. So I gotta possess this one, and this is gonna bounce them on the let's see if this works. On the drum, right? It is! Awesome. All right. So that one's gonna bounce them on the drum. But from here, we need to place something on the triangle. So we gotta find the shapes next. Uh, I haven't seen the shapes though. Are they gonna be here this way? Oh, I think I saw them. Hold up. Okay, so as I was saying, that one's gonna be a triangle. And the triangle's gonna have to bounce it off. All the way up top. I'm gonna have the moon and then let a T there. So let me grab the moon first. Just like that. And then letter T. It's gonna have to bounce them on a another drum. Just like that. And from here, they are gonna use, of course. Uh they should make their way over here, right? Oh, they're not bouncing properly. Why? What? Maybe they need to get a little bit closer for me to see, yeah. So what I'm gonna do then, let me stop the time. Speed up time here a little bit. So they can start moving ahead. We also have a little U here, but I'm not sure exactly what was the point of this one, to be honest. Yeah, I don't think I need that one. All right, and pause. Okay, there we go, there we go. So this is going to get up to the balloons. Yes, and they're gonna use the balloons to get to the other side. Love it. That's what I want to see, buddy. I actually want to see this in action. So let me just zoom on to one of them. And uh, let's just see this in action. I'm really curious how this is gonna work. Oh, look at the girl as well. Looking at the dolls. Look, yes, it works. Working. It's working. You did it. <laughs> It Still is working. Best, Daddy. Oh, well, I don't know about that. What I do know is that I've got the best little helper in the world. <laughs> that is so awesome. Look at these little guys using the balloons to get to the destination. Oh man, that is awesome. I'm really curious to see how many of these machines or mechanics we're gonna get. As we keep on playing the game. Look at that. And of course we got all 10 of them. Making their way to the destination. Awesome. Alright, the balloon machine is working. Next up, we gotta move on to uh, the next level. That's gonna be 10 out of 10. Perfect. Ooh, hold up. This one is a book as well. I wonder if I gotta get my little tin heart. To read this a crocodile head puppet, a golden mind, and the jack in the box. So, I have a feeling if I cross through here, the jack in the box is probably gonna do something to me. And I also see another note that we got to read. Um, so, what I'm gonna have to do here is let me grab the moon first. Do I even need this one? I wonder. Hmm. 
Because I can definitely not get him over here to get bounced. So I'm not sure if I need that moon. But what I need is definitely one of these to be placed around. Okay, so that is going to bounce on T, T on U, and from U, we're going to be able to read that letter. Uh, let's grab the letter T here. Next up, we have letter U. Okay, and we can start this up. Don't really see anything else that we need here, but we are going to have to make our way over there eventually. And I have a feeling we got to walk through this, or maybe we can walk through... I mean, I guess I could try to get my little ones to walk on that to get, like, an achievement. Yeah, I guess I could do that. Dear Mr. Butterworth, It was Butterworth. with great regret that we received the rejection of our previous offer of fellowship. But having seen the wonder that is your balloon oh, what machine, the? our this members guy is gonna unanimously eat, um... implored upon me to try again. No. I could regale you with tales from the history of our institution, or list the incredible contraptions we have created for the delectation of kings and queens, but these, I doubt, are news to you. Instead, let me whisper of our current endeavors, of the application of steam and the electrical wonders of the age to the production of the greatest most exquisite toys ever made. Whatever wealth your work brings at present would be multiplied many, many times by our association. Hmm. As a token of our admiration, we have included one of our more classical pieces, Jack in the Box. Please keep this gift to remind you that our offer is eternally open. And should circumstances prevail to change your mind, simply return him to us and let us commence our collaboration. Yours respectfully, Lucian Mantelfell. Hold up, buddy, because apparently that Jack in the Box is eating my little ones. I wonder if I gotta make use of this book. The thing is, these blocks that I have available on me right now, they can only be placed on these spots. I cannot randomly place him anywhere. So how do I heck do I get rid of the Jack in the Box? That is a super strange one. I really don't know how to solve this. Um, if I have been going like that, they're just going back. That is an issue. I don't know how to get rid of the Jack in the Box though without having him eat us. What if I just... I mean... Can I interact with him? As he comes over? No. Are you kidding me, game? How do I stop Jack in the Box? He's gonna eat all my little ones. What? How do we even do this? Yeah, look at that. Huh. Somehow I was wondering if I could actually make it through here so that we can avoid Jack in the Box. But the big problem is that these blocks that I am able to place, I can only place those in a specific location. And I don't... Oh, never mind. We do have these blocks. Never mind. These are the ones that I needed. I just had to search for them. All right. Well, now we know. Uh, in that case, you know that this fella needs to go here. We know that this fella needs to go away. We don't need you no more, buddy, because Jack in the Box is eating every single one of our little guys. Uh, there we go. This is going to bring them all back. Okay, perfect. And now we can speed up time. Now, if I allow this to go... There we go. So they are going to be bounced, but I got to move this one a little bit, I guess, over here. Perfect. That's what I want to see. Alright, let's grab another one. I'm currently just experimenting, uh, just because... Actually, I cannot make him climb up here. 
Can I? I want to try. I want to try and see if I can make him walk on this and make a sound. Uh, play kind of like a music. I'm curious if that's possible. Let's see. Let me grab another one. Okay, that may work. Uh, but in order for this to work... Let me speed up the time. I just want to grab this one. And place it... Here. It is working. Please play a tune. It's not working. No. I was really hoping them would walk on that thing and that would make noise, but that is not working. All right. Anyway, let me backtrack a little bit then. There we go. Pause. I'll grab this one back again. And place it over. I uh, guess here. You, buddy, are gonna have to make your way over here. You, buddy, are gonna have to make your way right on this side. And this way, we are avoiding the clown. Freaking jack in the boxes. All right, perfect. I couldn't really see these blocks. I knew that I would need only these blocks if I wanted to cross, but I just couldn't see them. Because they were hiding inside that box. And there we go. We got 10 out of 10. Awesome. Take that, Jack in the Box. <laughs> Alright, let's move on to the next one. That was awesome. Okay, uh, so my little tin hearts are going to be starting up from here. Uh, from this point... We are, of course, going to need them to go that way. And from here, we're going to need them to fall down on the big drum. Just like that. Now, the thing about the drum is, gonna, is that it's going to push them over here. If it is going to push them over there, I'm going to need them to... I'm going to have to use this one, actually. So let me speed up for the time a little bit. Oh, pause. Grab this one and rotate it in there. I just need one in there, of course. I don't need too many. There we go. Because now I can just grab this one and bring it back this way. Alright, what did this give me? Ooh, can I now control uh, the drums and move them around, I wonder? I feel like that's what I'm going to be able to do. Oh, we are going to be able to move them around now. Awesome. Here we go. <laughs> that's awesome. So, what I'm going to have to do here is... Rotate this one. Oh, you cannot rotate. Wait, what? Ah, I'm changing direction, so I want my little guys to be pushed on top of that. Okay, but this one needs to push them. Um, um, I'm gonna be guessing there, like that. Okay. Uh, first, let me possess this so I can recall everybody and reset them because we lost quite a few. There we go. And now we can start it up. So, now they're going to be bounced on that one. From that one, they're going to be bounced on this one. From this one, they're going to be bounced over here. And from here... Uh, this may not work, though. I do see that we have another one of these shapes that I can use. Oh, you know what? They might make it to that side, actually, because they do have the balloons. That's right. 
So what I have to do here is set this one up to, I guess, over there. And this one is going to have to be the one that I got to use in order to deliver them inside the house. Awesome. There we go. That's what I needed. There we go. It works. So these fellas, what they're doing, they're just bouncing on top of this one from here over there. And they got it. That is great. I didn't know that we we're going to be able to change the perspective of these uh, drums. But now the puzzles are getting more and more complicated. And I absolutely love it. Alright, uh, this fella is going to have to wake him up. There we go. And let me pause this. Huh. So our main goal is going to have to have them um, going through the balloons. From the balloons, they're going to bounce on top of this thingamajig. And I have a feeling I could get him to shoot at that with a cannon to get that book down. I feel like that's what I got to do, yeah. So you, buddy, are going to have to have them bouncing. I guess over here. I want to try to push that button. But I also need to move this one like this. Hold up. I don't know if I got to bounce this one. I feel like I do. Um, oh, these two trains are kind of mm, pushing each other. So I got to backtrack. What if I go with this one going back like this? Where is it going to bounce them? Nowhere good. Okay. Hold up. Let me look around. Because this is going to have to bounce them straight up into... I guess over here. Just like that. You, buddy, are going to have to bounce them straight up into there. Okay. Um, we know that we got to get that book down somehow. But first of all, I got to push them down to come this way. Hmm. You like what I gotta do here? Uh, let me grab a little tea. Let's see. Let, let me just try something out. Turn this one around. Um, like that. There we go. Now you is gonna have to push him into that tea. So let me grab a little tea from here. Can I seem to find little you though? Where is it? Is it this one? Yep. That's the one that I gotta use. So we're gonna have to switch him a little bit here. So that's gonna push him there, that's gonna push him there. Uh, I don't know if that is good. I feel like maybe we need little you over here instead. Like that. Hold the train a little bit. Okay. What if I just have them bouncing over here? Isn't that gonna work? 
and then this train is going to tell them to bounce off directly to those balloons like that. And if I remove a little T from here, it may work. Let's see. There we go. That's what I needed. Okay, okay. I kind of like it. So now they're going to be bounced over here. They're going to push that cannon. That cannon is going to blow this down. And next I'm going to need little U. Then I'm going to have to use it from there somewhere else. But that means this little T is going to have to make its way somewhere else. At the moment, I'm not sure exactly where. So let me just speed through this and see how it goes. There we go. So they're going to bounce on that. They're next going to use the balloons to cross. They're going to go on top of that one, and they're going to press the button over there. Which means I no longer need letter U over there, so I can easily bring it over. Because letter U is going to have to be set up here. And next I'm going to need letter T to be set up here. There we go. I think we got it. Awesome. That's what I want to see, buddy. There we go. And we're definitely going to get all 10 of them. Yes, we did. Man, these puzzles are getting better and better. And I love it. This one was a little bit more complicated. But uh, eventually, if you keep on looking around and spinning around, you are going to figure it out. And with that, we made our way, I think, to level 14 or 13. Not sure. And there's also going to be a jack in the box. We're going to have to try to dodge somehow. And for this one, we're going to need to bring 9 of them. Hmm. Interesting. Now, if I go to the uh, study, did I mo get more unlockables? Oh, never mind. We actually reached level 17. Oh, man. We reached a really high level. Oh, and look at this. We can see the uh, levels that we activated here. If you want, you can go back to them. So, we got 7, 8, 9. Apparently, they're only starting from level 7 for some reason. I wonder why. Because now we reach all the way to level 16. Every single one of the levels that we complete are going to show up here. Uh, but looks of it, once we finish 17 and 18, this entire thing is going to be filled up with um, the levels that we completed so far. So maybe something else is going to happen. I don't know. Look at that. And unfortunately, we haven't really got any more achievements just yet. But I hope this library is going to expand a little bit so we can add more of our levels uh, that we completed into, the, into that section. Yeah, hopefully that's going to be a thing. But anyway, guys, that being said, thank you all very much for watching another episode of 10 Hearts. If you all enjoyed this and want to see more like this in the future, make sure to leave a like, subscribe to the channel because I'm brand new here, and I'll see you all next really soon. Bye, everybody.